Straight ahead lies the heartline of America, an old-fashioned Main Street. Hometown USA, combining the color of frontier days with the oncoming excitement of the new 20th century. The third vehicle dating to 1955 is the beautiful streetcar, which continues to run to this day. Two streetcars can operate at a time, the wheels spinning in the metal tracks that are grooved into Main Street. The street has two sets of these tracks to enable the streetcars to pass each other. As big as these vehicles are, and they are big, each holding up to 30 passengers and weighing up to two tons. Each one is pulled by just a single horse, usually a Pinchron or a Belgian. Observant guests will find the names of the horses on their bridles. The tracks part halfway down Main Street so that two streetcars can pass each other. The horses only work three days a week, three hours each. Here are some shots of the advertisements inside the streetcars. What's interesting is the advertisements are for places along Main Street that you can visit, and the ads look like they were made in the turn of the century. This attraction has stayed pretty much the same since Disneyland opened in 1955. The only significant change was the removal of a fare box that was present on opening day. The fare back then was 10 cents. Now, of course, every attraction is free with the price of admission to the park. The streetcar was an A-ticket ride, or 10 cents. Here's a video of a streetcar going up Main Street. I think the video was taken in the mid-1970s. The video is interesting. I'm unsure, but that sure looks like Walt Disney in the front of the streetcar. Magic Main Street, USA. The horse-drawn vehicles have carried 7 million passengers, a distance of 121,000 horse-powered miles. Here are a couple of shots of the horse being changed out on the streetcar. They only have to work a couple hours at a time, and they get to go backstage and rest. So the life is pretty good for these horses. Walt Disney and a couple of young guests on the streetcar. Hi, I'm Emily Kralik and I'm a conductor on the horse drawn streetcar at the Disneyland Resort. As a horse drawn streetcar conductor, we have two roles and one of those is a driver. We actually drive the horses up and down the street and the other position that we do is called conductor and those are more like a guest control role where um, they're walking in the track in front of the car making sure guests are out of the way so the horse can pass by safely. The way we get ready for the day, you'll walk the track, make sure there's no obstructions in the track and then we go backstage and get the horses all dressed up like Bug here, uh, make sure he's all groomed and show ready. We'll get the radios and everything so we can talk to the vehicles on Main Street, like the fire truck and omnibus. When I'm driving a horse on Main Street, I look out for wheelchairs, strollers, to take the guests up and down the street, like a real turn of the century town. A lot of children maybe have never seen a real horse, so to have the opportunity to show them that for the first time is really rewarding. We're very excited about our brand new track. All the rail work is brand new, as well as the addition of all this beautiful brick that you see. Bug here is a Brabant draft horse. We have Shires, Clydesdales, Percherons. They're getting the best care possible. The horse drawn streetcars are an essential part of the Disneyland experience because it's one of the few attractions that's been open since Disneyland opened in 1955. When I was younger, I had the opportunity to interact with a lot of horses. I never had one of my own, so I thought the opportunity to take care of them and drive them down Main Street USA would be a really great opportunity. Where else could you do that than Disneyland?